Come on, there has to be some villages around. <gasps> yes! Oh, yes, there's a villager that wants to trade. Hey, librarian. Oh, boy, what is that trade? 127 books of sharpness three. Uh, don't mind if I do, I suppose. Oh! Oh my god! Pause. This is Minecraft, but villager trades are multiplied. I've added a feature in the game where the more you trade with a villager, the more items you get. Eventually, it'll get to a point where you could trade a single emerald for thousands of items. Will I be able to beat the game before my game crashes? Watch to find out. Also, be sure to check if you're subscribed and like the video because according to YouTube statistics, you most likely aren't. Enjoy the video and I hope you have a great day. Three. Two, one, let's go. Wood moment. Doesn't seem like there's a village anywhere, unfortunately. We're just gonna have to grind it out a bit, and that's fine. But yeah, we need to go and find a village today because we need to go and trade with the villagers. And if we don't, then what even is this video about anyways? Like, what, what would be even be the point? Anyways, let's go, let's run. Let's just go and do stone tools moment. Let's go and get the gray blocks. Here we go. Let's take this. Oh my god! Oh, thank you, village. I was just randomly running in the plains, and I thought there was gonna be maybe something. But this is definitely something. I feel at home now. Thank you, village. Before we do the trades, you know what's gonna happen, Iron Man. Now, before we get into, like, you know, just doing these crazy trades or whatever, we gotta make sure that we get trades that would allow us to get even more emeralds, which would allow us to get even more trades. So, the first trade that I think we should probably do is get a Fletcher. Now, a Fletcher is special because you could go trade wood for emeralds, and that's really nice. You could literally just give him a few sticks, and you'd be like, all right, here you go. Let me just give you one of the rare ores in the game. And that's why I love Fletchers. We're gonna use a Fletcher, but we gotta get a Fletching Table. Now, for us to go and get a Fletching Table, we actually need flint and wood. I mean, we already got the wood. That's That was pretty easy. But we just need to find, like, some gravel real quick. Let's go find, like, a patch. Oh, we found some gravel right here. Let's go break some gravel and get some flint, shall we? We need two flint. Okay, we got our two flints, and then we're just gonna go and craft a special item. We are gonna go and make a fletching table, just like so. Yay. We made a fletching table. Let's go up to a villager and we're gonna go and turn that villager into a villager with a job. Hey, villager. Hello. Have job, please. Thank you, villager. Okay, what do we have? Ooh, there it is. 32 sticks equals one emerald. That is nice. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our stack of oak planks. We're just gonna convert it into these two stacks of sticks. All right, let's go trade for one emerald. There it is. It's now at two. And then now... It's at three and then four and then five. This is really good for the economy. Now we got to go and get a lot of wood. All right. We currently have like 10 emeralds now and we could use these emeralds to get a lot of other trades from other types of villagers. Maybe like a leather worker or maybe like an armor smith, weapon smith, maybe even a librarian. This is foreshadowing, by the way. Why don't I go and get like a bunch of stuff from all these villagers? Let's go and get more wood. And by the way... I know a place where we could get a lot of wood. Uh, uh, let's just do a wood moment. Oh, and my axe broke. Well, we have a bit of logs here. Boom. Oh, that's a lot of sticks, isn't it? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, boy. We have almost seven stacks. Wait, there you go. We have like a whole line of sticks just for you. Oh, this is a lot. Oh, boy. <laughs> We have over a stack of emeralds now. Oh, the stonks are high. Our first few trades. And now we have like so many different green tokens for us to give to the villagers in order for us to get a lot of different things. Now, I have three different types of villagers that I want to trade with. The librarian, an armor smith, and a weaponsmith. Those type of villagers would give us really, really nice items like diamond armor and all that type of stuff. We got to get certain types of blocks for us to go and hire certain villagers to get those trades. So we're going to have to go and acquire a lectern, a grindstone, and a blast furnace. I actually have a blast furnace right now. So, uh... Yes! Okay. Awesome. Oh my god! 16 stack iron chest plate. Very nice. Thank you, villager. If my chest plate ever breaks, no worries. I have like, you know, 15 other ones. <laughs> Okay, I really don't need these. I'm gonna just throw them out right now. Hold on. Now, you see, I have to level up these villagers just so we can unlock even more trades, which will take a lot of emeralds, but it will take a lot of iron helmets that we have to go through as well in order for us to go and upgrade this lad. Oh, boy. And there you go. I had to get, like, hundreds of iron helmets just so this lad could upgrade. And we're gonna have to get bells now. This is not, like, the most optimal trade, but trust me, we're, we're on our way to something spectacular, okay? We need a little bit more wood now. 
All right, I'm done with wood moment. Let's go and make a bunch of sticks right here. This is going to be a lot of sticks. Sorry, know it. My whole entire inventory is full with sticks. Hey, Fletcher. I have a very nice trade for you today. Take my sticks. What? I'm getting absolutely scammed. You know what? I'm going to go and make another Fletcher. You can't monopolize the market. I'm making competition for you, whether you like it or not. Hi. Yes, you are now competition. Oh, that is a good trade. 32 sticks for 32 emeralds. It's one to one right now. This is the best bargain I could ever get. Oh, 33 and it's 34 now. Let's just keep going. Wait, you're telling me that my inventory is just going to slowly fill it with all emeralds. Oh my God, it's actually happening. Oh my God. How many stacks do I have? This is looking good right now. Let's go back to the armor guy. Hello, armor. I'm going to go and trade for bells. Thank you. I think it is happy right now. Oh, ooh, ugh, ugh. What are those trades? Ew. Armor, this is not good. I don't like these trades, man. Hello, villager. How is the competition right now? Hmm? Oh, exactly, exactly. Huh? We're at 31, huh? The market's a lot more competitive nowadays. I'm glad we've come to terms that you're on top now. Okay, thank you. Thank you, villager. Oh my gosh, this is it. We've done about like 63 trades now. And this is going to be our 64th. Now we're going to have a stack of emeralds every time we trade for 32 sticks. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> oh, it goes to 65. It goes to 65 emeralds now. Yep, that is a stack of 65. Nice. Oh, okay. You are now upgrading again. What do you have in store for me now, sir? Oh my God. It's diamond boots. Ooh. Ooh, it's the lower half. Oh, blast protection and breaking. And feather falling too. It's diamond armor. I'm down. <laughs> this is the start of something nice. All right. Thank you, villager. Wait, let's keep upgrading this villager. I think it's going to give us something nice. I did some off camera training just a bit. Uh, as you can see. You have any more for me? Huh? Oh! Wait, that's a full set! Protection on a breaking helmet. We have a chest plate huh? with protection as well. Boom. Huh? And then boom. 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 Bruh. That was just the armor lad. I still want to get trades from like the librarian and also the lectern lad and also the weaponsmith. Wait, that's a lot more people. That's a lot of different traders. My Twitch chat just said something five head. Absolutely five head. 400 IQ play, okay? We could go and trade with these iron chest plates and iron helmets. And that would allow us to go and smelt them thanks in order for us to go and get iron nuggets. And if we get iron nuggets, just enough iron nuggets, then it would allow us to go and get an anvil. And if we have an anvil, then we could go and come combine our materials and that would be really really good we could combine our chest plates together and helmets and boots and all that type of stuff so we could get a higher level of protection and whatever we have on our armor It'd be really really good armor bro where are you there you are hello armor i have things for you i would like your iron helmet please that would be nice nice deal 89 iron helmets oh thank you so much oh 90 iron chest plates oh thank you okay now that we've gotten like a bunch of like armor we're getting a lot of iron nuggets from this and we could go and turn the iron nuggets into iron ingots and that's gonna lead us to an anvil and when we get our anvil it's gonna be really really nice because we're gonna combine our armor okay i think we're done yes we could make an anvil now okay let's do this just like that and we have an anvil nice now that we have an anvil, we could go and combine our armor. You see how we have like 37 protection ones? Let's go and put like four right there. And we're just going to combine them just like so. Boom, 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 boom. And now it is protection three on a diamond chest plate from our stack of chest plates. This is going to be really good. We could get like protection like four and five too if we have like enough levels. Oh, speaking of levels, we got to go and make a grindstone. You see, if we use our grindstone, it would give us XP. All right, we're going to go put the stone slab on the top right there and we go and make a grindstone. Now that we have it, we could go and do this. Boop. And we could go and just repair a bunch of armor just like so. We're going to just put it everywhere. Oh my gosh, look at that. It actually works really nicely. It's just giving us so many levels. Boom, we got 10 levels. And since we have two prot threes right here, we could go and make prot four. That was simple, simple enough. We could generate so much XP from this one little block right here just by doing this. Yep, that worked. Welcome default villager. You're like the Steve of villagers now, hello. Oh. And you are a weaponsmith. All right, now that we have a weaponsmith using our grindstone, we could go and trade for weapons. Let's go start with iron axes for three emeralds. Oh boy. <laughs> Upgrade the weaponsmith. There you go. Weaponsmith, are you done? <sighs> I think that's a yes. I just realized there's a message in the chat. You've reached more than 127 trades. So now you're going to be getting more than a stack per trade. Congrats. 
Yay. This is going to start being really messy now that we're going to get more than one stack per trade. I've used up all my wood and sticks again. Now I guess we're going to have to go and mine for more wood. Here we go. Let's go back to the Fletching Lad. Fletcher, hello. I have more sticks for you. Thank you. Oh, look at that emerald. That emerald stack is ridiculous. There's a lot going on in my inventory right now, man. But I don't care because I'm just getting a bunch of emeralds and that's what I do. I just traded a few stacks of sticks, you know, and it's just getting much more worse. We're overflowing with emeralds. Oh, boy. All right. I just upgraded the weaponsmith. And what do we have? We have... Oh... Efficiency 2 Diamond Axe. Yes! That means we could go and get Efficiency 5 if we just combine all of these axes together. Yoink. Now we're going to go and just add these together. Efficiency 3s. And then we get Efficiency 4. Oh, and also my anvil broke because we are just combining so many different things. We'll make a new anvil. No worries, though. Boom. Nice. There, let's just disenchant these axes as well so we get even more stuff. Levels, please. Thank you. I just grinded a bit more levels, and now we have efficiency five on a diamond axe. Let's try out the logs. Is the wood moment nice? Oh, it is so nice. I don't even need like a time lapse anymore. It's just that fast. Here, let me just go and just completely deck out the weaponsmith here. Let's go. I've upgraded the lad. What do you have now, huh? Ooh. Okay, diamond sword moment. <gasps> what is it? Sharpness 2! Look, I don't even care if it's sharpness 3, 4, 5, 17 billion. But as long as it has the enchantment, we could combine it to get the max amount of that enchantment. So the max of sharpness is 5. We could easily get sharpness 5 just by trading this lad once because we get 127 swords. Look at this. Let's combine the swords now too. Here we go. Oh, sharpness 4 just like that. I got even more levels and now we have two sharpness 4s next to each other to combine into sharpness 5. <laughs> <laughs> yes! We got sharpness five and we have efficiency five now. Things are looking good. I'm also gonna get some protection four on the helmet because we can. And we have feather falling four as well because we can. Our armor so far is looking as nice as it can be. We got protection four, boom, boom. And also the feather falling four. And I don't even wanna care about that blast protection, but maybe we could just do that as well. And we also have blast protection four. I mean, I, I honestly didn't really really care about this one but it costs like hundreds of levels to get this holy moly that took a lot of time and also a lot of pants we've been just grindstoning so much pants i feel like we're just missing one more thing look at this iron pickaxe ew i don't want that instead i think we should probably start getting a tool smith and just start upgrading that tool smith to get also diamond tools yeah let's go and make a smithing table smithing table boom let's find a villager i've realized that like some of these villagers have died because of like the zombies during the night so we're gonna have to go and yoink the cleric right here. Cleric, you are no longer having job, please. And then we're gonna go and take the selectin right here so our librarian doesn't have a job anymore. Now, I, I've kind of like reduced our villager population, unfortunately, because of uh, zombie mishaps. We're gonna have to go and make more villagers. How about this? I'll just put you in a boat. Thank you. I'm gonna get you a date, okay, villager? Oh, yes. Okay, they're both on a boat now. Hello, guys. Here's some three beds for you guys. There you go. Okay, make child, please. Oh, oh, right there. Yes. Oh, child moment. Congratulations. Now someone take a job because you need to pay for child support. Hello, toolsmith. Okay, now let's go trade with you. The amount of hose that you're providing me is substantial. There you go. And let's upgrade the toolsmith up until you give me diamond pickaxe and all those other type of tools. Okay. All right. I've upgraded the lad now. He's on expert mode. We could get efficiency five diamond shovels now, which is really nice. Let's keep upgrading the lad though. Let's keep going. Upgrade again, sir. Oh, it's the diamond pickaxe. Yes. Now we could go and get efficiency five on a diamond shovel and also a diamond pickaxe. Our loadout is slowly becoming more and more crazy. Here we go. Efficiency five is now a thing. Should we do the shovel as well? Yeah, we'll do the shovel. And we have efficiency five on our shovel as well. This is looking really good for us. Holy crust. So it's now armor and also weapons. And now the tools as well. Holy moly. What's next? Probably the librarian. I want to see what kind of books the librarian is going to give us. I hope it's really good. Yes. Huh? Oh my god, so many for bookshelves. Also, Impaling 4 is interesting, but let's go and get like, you know, just 200 bookshelves. Thank you. Also, what do you have now? Sweeping Edge 1. 
Ugh. The librarian wants books, so we'll give the librarian books, even though they literally have bookshelves. I'm just repurposing their own resources. Thank you, librarian. Oh my gosh, we have like three stacks of books right here. Here's books for you. Oh, that's a lot of emeralds. Okay, thank you for your emeralds. Oh my god, that's a lot. Okay. Oh my, now you just want to give me glass. That's very interesting. Also, knockback too. Let's keep upgrading you. Let's see what we get now. Also, that's a lot of glass. Oh my gosh, this is not, this is not safe. This is literally a hazard. This is the code violation. What the heck, dude? What else? Oh, great. Name tags. What was the reason why I even traded this librarian out? I thought the books would be cool, but we get like Impaling 4, Woo, and Sweeping Edge, and Knockback. Like, these are some horrible trades. This was just a waste of time. All right, let's just move on to the cleric. Let's get something from the cleric. Hey, farmer, would you like a brewing stand? Hmm? I think they want a brewing stand. This is going to be the final villager before we enter the nether and also the end and kill the dragon, okay? This is going to be the final lad, and we are going to go trade with you, sir. Let's go get a bunch of this real quick. Here we go. There you go. Oh my god, that's so much redstone on the floor, dude. Just from that. All right, now let's go and get lapis, I guess. All right, there's even more stuff on the floor. What else? Oh, glowstone. Thank you. Okay, there you go. I upgraded with glowstone. Oh, even more stuff on the floor. No, it's the wrong one. It's the wrong cleric. You see, there is like a 50% chance or whatever percentage it is for us to go and trade for pearls. But I think we got the wrong trades. Yeah, this is the wrong type of cleric, which means that we're probably gonna have to get pearls normally in the nether, which means that we're gonna have to go to the bastion. However, at least we got a bunch of stuff and we could go and flex on those pig boys in hell. I am down. I think I've literally used every single villager in this village. I I've traded with every single one of them, gave them their own roles slash jobs, and now we're here with full diamond, sharpness five diamond sword, efficiency five diamond pickaxe, also along with the axe and the shovel as well. I think our work here is done. We've traded with so many different villagers and gotten so many different types of stuff. I think it's time for us to go to the nether. Let's do this. Before we leave, we should probably go and do one actual final trade, and it's gonna be with the Fletcher. Okay, let's go and get a bow real quick. Oh, oh, wow. The Fletcher actually does give a really nice bow. What is it? Ooh, okay. We're getting power five. This is going to be a nice bow battle against the dragon. Thank you for all the bows. I think that was literally the final trade out of all of the villagers that we're trading with. So yeah. That was it. I think we got like 300 items per trade. So if I like traded like three or four times, we would get like a thousand items just on the floor. That is absolutely ridiculous. All right, let's combine. Boom. This is the best bow, man. I think we have everything that we need. I think it's time for us to go and leave and like enter the nether and kill the dragon and win the game. But before that, though, my Twitch chat wants me to do something. Uh... Let's burn it! Let's go! The whole village arson! I don't care anymore! We're gonna kill the villager stock market! Oh! Now that we're done with the village, it's time for us to go to the nether. Let's go find a portal or a lava lake or something. Oh, wait, there's a lava lake here. Oh, we could go to the nether now. And now we go. Here we go. And we're in. Oh, God, there's a gas. Oh, I hate gas. It's fine, though, because we could use the feathers right here. And we're going to go and make a bunch of arrows. We have 52 arrows right here. Very, very nice. Hey, gas. What up? I got a power five. <laughs> Let's go find a fortress or something. Let's go. Let's go take the gold right here so we can make some gold boots. Make some ingots. And now we could go and make boots just in case when we have to go into the bastion. <gasps> yes. Speaking of bastion. Yes. There's one right there. Also, there's a hoglin. Get slammed, hoglin. All of the gold blocks are just going to be right there. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this your homeland? Oh! All right. This is what's going to happen. We're going to go right here and we are going to just yoink it super quickly. Let me make them incredibly mauled real quick. But before I do that, I'm going to go and open this chest up. And then they're all molding at me. But you guys could go and trade with all of the gold ingots that I have. Gold ingots that I stole, by the way. Come on. Oh, I saw pearls. Nice. Eight pearls now. Nice. Oh, more pearls. Yes. Oh, yes. More pearls. Oh, I got even more pearls. All right. I'm leaving. Let's go and find the fortress. Fortress, please be around. Oh, what? <laughs> it's just right here. Yes. It's so good. Oh, my gosh. Let's get some blaze rods. Easy peasy. Yes, we're at three blaze rods right now. Oh, I see a spawner right here. Oh, here's the spawner. We found it. We're at four blaze rods now. Here, let's go and splash the fire res. There you go. While we wait for the blaze rods to spawn, let's go and make our portal right now. Here we go. And that is done. Here we go. Let's get more. Oh, we have 10 
somebody's rods. I'm leaving now. It's time to go. See ya. Don't want to be ya. Here we go. Oh, we are in a jungle. Okay, that's pretty cool. Nice biome, I suppose. Now we can go and convert our blaze rods into powder. And we can go and make a stack of eyes. Eyes of Ender. And it's around this direction. Our stronghold navigation is starting. All right, I'm going to use my eye one more time. <gasps> oh, it goes back. This is a great indicator that the stronghold is very close. Let's go this way. Oh my God, it's in this chunk, bruh. <laughs> yes. Now we go down with our efficiency five pickaxe. We're just going to speed run all the way down here in the stronghold. Here we go. Oh, we're here. Yes. <gasps> yes. It's right here. Very, very nice. Let's just put this on here. And now it is time for us to go ham. Let's break this. And now we could go and flex on the dragon. I think this is going to be a major success with the flexing. All right. It's time for us to do this. Here we go. All right. Let's go up. Here we go. Let's shoot those. That's another... Another column. Boom. Boom. Let's get cage number one. Yes. That's two. Let's go up. I want to slam this one. Ooh. Let's shoot this one as well. There you go. There you go. Got that one. There you go. All of the columns are now gone. Let's kill the dragon, shall we? Here we go. Oh, she's perching. She's perching. Let's go slam her. Here we go. Slam. Big, big hits. Power five, go. Come on, power five, bow. We're halfway. Let's keep going. Oh, big hits. Yes. Oh, she's almost done. No shot for her. Almost there. Oh, she's perching. Slam her. Almost there. I think I know what to do. I'm gonna have the last one prepped up and ready. I am gonna use my only bed. I'm gonna do a speedrunner style. Here we go. I'm gonna go up here. Now I'm gonna wait for her. She's going down. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Woo. Yes. We did it. Let's take the egg. And we got the egg. And that is it. Now we leave. And that is how you win the game. That was fun. Oh, I enjoyed that one. Thanks for watching. Bye.